What's happening, fam? LA all moving, still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Does sex enable toxic femininity? And the reason this is coming about is because so many times I hear, like, ladies talk about, and even female callers when they call on the people's shows and whatnot. You know, shout out to King Richards, Kevin Samuels, and all that. And you're overweight. But people are still sleeping with you, so you think you're wife material, relationship material. Um, you got a bad attitude, um, so but you can still get somebody to sleep with you, so that means your attitude is not that bad, right? You're a gold digger, and because people sleep with you, you know that enables you to be that way. Maybe you're selfish, right? And you're a selfish woman, but because people sleep with you, knowing that you're selfish, it's still, you know, it means it's not that bad. Um, you're a thought. And because people still sleeping with you because you're a thought, means, you know, your thought is not really that bad, you know. You're abusive. But because people are still having sex with you, then that means, you know, your behavior isn't that bad. Maybe, just maybe, you know, you go both ways. Maybe you're in the polyamory, you know. And because people are still willing to sleep with you, um, when you're going about these things in a, in a bad way, then I mean, it's not really that bad. Um... You, you're a liar, you're a cheater, deceiver, heartbreaker. I remember the song, I forgot the, the song, but you all of those things. But because people are still sleeping with you, it's not a bad thing. Like you could be a side chick, but you know, people are still sleeping with you, so it's not really a bad thing. Um, you're lazy. But because people are still sleeping with you, it's not a bad thing. You really don't have ambition. You know, but because people still sleeping with you, oh, doesn't matter, right? You're a single mother. Maybe you have kids by multiple men, right? But it doesn't really matter. It's, it does. It's not a really not. It's not a knock on, on on actually settling down with you because, you know, people are still having sex with you. You can still get a man to come through and, you know, knock around some cardboard in the box. And the problem with that is men and women don't look at this the same. It seems like men are like, look, I can sleep with you, but that don't mean I'm like, we're going to be together. And women are like, I can have all of these qualities, but if people are still sleeping with me, that means, you know, I'm just, you know, one step away from being a wife. You know, right now I'm washing lettuce. A couple of years, and then I'm going to be moving on to fries. In a couple of years, I'm going up to upper management, and that's when the big bucks start rolling in. And I was like, eh, no. But if we're going to deal in reality, the reality is, yeah. Given, you know, having sex with dysfunctional women makes them believe that their dysfunction is okay. Until we stop sleeping with these fools... They don't think, as long as they can get some meat, they don't get it. And then here's the crazy part. There comes a point when guys stop sleeping with them, or they get tired of sleeping with guys and not fixing their, their behaviors, or they blame all their toxic behaviors on guys. And it becomes a, a, a kind of a stalemate where if you're not having sex, now you got to work on you. But the problem is you don't want to see your negative things because... You know, sex was masking it both ways. Like, it seems like sex masks for women. Like, oh, I'm, you know, as uh, long as, you know, somebody's sliding in and sliding out, you know, nothing is wrong with my character, which is, could be further, the furthest thing from the truth. But does it, um, does sex enable toxic femininity? I would say in some ways, yes. Or yes. You know, um, tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch you on the next one. Peace.